All right, hey Sagittarius, so we're doing a quick energy check-in for the ghosted, the silence. We're just uh, doing an energy update for those in separation. You're going to know this is your read by your energy and how you feel about this person currently. So if that doesn't resonate with you, you guys, check your other placements. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope that you subscribe if you like my energy. And in the description, if you guys have ever felt uh, or, or you know anything about the twin journey, the twin dynamic, in the description, I do have links to the book I wrote. It's more about the healing aspects with little hints and um, pleasures about the love dynamic that I've experienced that says, yeah, I do think it, it is something to believe in. All right. So anyways, your energy. So we got the five of, okay. So you guys, okay. So you could be putting yourself out there in such a way. Okay. Um, the reason why I say that is because of the seven of, of wands. All right. With the nine of swords and the five of pentacles, I really feel like what's happening is, is you're coming out of that phase. You're stepping out of the wise, um, who, what, when, where, why does this always happen? I feel like you're stop, you're stopping, or you have stopped asking yourself those questions. Okay. And you're kind of going it within with the hermit card. You're kind of going within and really reflecting on why shouldn't I, why couldn't I, I, I deserve. Okay. Um, that's, that's just what I feel. And I'm, I'm pairing the hermit card with that seven of wands. And that's how I'm seeing this energy come through. All right. So um, I just feel like the five of pentacles in reverse is a reflection of where you were. Okay. The nine of swords. I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not carrying this and I'm not making this a part of who I was. I'm, it's all about me now. It's my turn, right? My happiness, my stability, my future, my goals, my ambition. I am going to um, make everything come alive for me. Okay. Especially for those of you who have set your, your time and your life aside for somebody else. So let's see how it is you feel about this person coming through your heart space. How do you feel about this person coming through your heart space? So we got the Queen of Wands showing up. All right. That is a very um, highly attractive card. Okay. Um, we got the, um, the Emperor in reverse. And we got the Ace of Swords. So how do you feel about them? Um, here's what I'm going to say. I feel like this right here is a, it's a view of distorted masculine. Okay. So it could be that you are, uh, you know, you, you felt, you have felt, um, at one point in time that this person was a divine masculine, a divine counterpart, a soulmate. Okay. But right here with the uh, page of pentacles, this is the past, the past, the past, procrastination, failure, failure to launch, failure to move forward. All right. So it could be that how you feel about this person is they're so stuck in the past energy and they're so afraid to move on. All right. You have no other choice to move on. It doesn't deduct from your attraction to their um, physical body, their soul, their mental energy, their emotional energy. It doesn't de it doesn't de detract that you don't want that or have that desire for a new beginning. Um, but if they're going to be stuck over here, then what 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 can I do, right? I, I feel like you have a longing and a desire for that connection, but you know what? Um, they embody a distorted version of themselves. Some of you guys could be dealing with somebody that's in a third party dynamic also. So let's see how this person feels about you. How do they feel? Oh, oh the Empress in the upright. I can't even compare. I can't even compare, right? So how they feel about you. Um, look at that. We got soul level energy coming through here, but again, a third party dynamic. All right, this read is, is coming out a little bit different than I've done the other ones. Um, and I don't know what compelled to just uh, for me to ask right away because I was going to ask that in a little bit. But this person, um, I'm just seeing it because of how you are, are seeing them now, how you feel about them. Um, we got your energy and then the other situation, okay? The third party dynamic. It does not have to be a marriage. It doesn't have to be a relationship. Okay, look at this. A twin journey, perhaps a soul bond, perhaps I did not make the right choice though. All right. I feel like they feel very deeply connected to you and they know that their heart sits over here. But meanwhile, they're over here off with this because the queen of um, swords does represent third party interference, whatever it is, work, uh, a, a romantic partnership, family, whatever. Okay. It's like they did not choose right. And that's how they feel. So, um, I got to get their energy. I'm so sorry. I'm doing this a little bit different. You guys, it's like really super late. I'm, this is my last read and I'm, I'm going to power through it. You guys. Um, so their energy, look at that. The devil card, you got Capricorn energy coming through. You got uh, cancer, you got cancer and Pisces coming through. You got the will of fortune card, which is a Capricorn energy. Um, so I, I really feel like it's like, oh gosh, 
this is so funny because this person is coming through like they know where their heart lies, but they choose, all right, to, they choose fear over hope and fate. They choose fear, all right, they choose complacency over what they know is in their heart, okay? They know that this does exist between you and them, but they are choosing right here. It's like something has got to give, but I can't force that something to give, okay? So again, you got Capricorn. Um, coming through you got cancer and uh, Pisces coming through very very strongly and I just kind of feel like their energy is is it says like um, I know all right I know who belongs in my life but for whatever it is that they're going through they're allowing the third uh, density objects to become that uh, um, um, what am I trying to say they're they're, they're allowing that third density um, subject not object, but subject to uh, become prominent, the, the more prominent energy. So let's just see what triggered this person to ghost. What triggered this person to ghost? The inability to be vulnerable. Okay, that could be one thing. Um, but also that third party, if they if there is a third party dynamic. Okay, options. All right, you got the nine of wands coming through and we got the six of pentacles coming through. So it's like, I can't give you balance. I can't give you stability. I can't let you in right now, you know, and if this person has strung you along in such a way, they kept you on the hook. Um, it's like, they're feeling bad about it now. It's like this person knows they have known, all right, that they can't grant you the opportunity that they maybe even um, promised you. All right beforehand that's that's where i see their energy at so what were their whole intentions what was this person's intentions with you and this connection oh i, I never I, I never meant for it to get to this point right you were a wish fulfillment but i never intended it to get to this point all right with the eight of swords ten of swords you know what i mean um i'm just seeing this as uh, and it could be too that something was on the fritz. Like um, if they were, if there was a human um, actively involved in the third party dynamic, um, as far as their intentions, it's like they were they were going through a rough spot, a rough patch, and so they found joy. All right, in you, they found joy inside of you, um, and we got the the justice card also coming through. Okay, and with justice card, it did come in reverse. I can't help but feel like they're trying to they're trying to instill or they're trying to place karma in a situation, especially for those of you who are dealing with somebody who's tied to somebody else. It's like they're trying to and they're trying to incorporate their own uh, form of karma. It doesn't work like that. Um, I I personally feel like when you try to do that, it's going to come back to you tenfold. All right, so let's just see what's happening with this connection in the next thirty days. What is happening with this connection in the next thirty days? I feel like you guys can see some communication coming through. All right. But the king of wands in reverse, knight of wands in reverse, two of pentacles in reverse, and the eight of wands. You guys, I do feel like they are coming back through, but I feel like the, the conversation, the communication is going to be very, very highly superficial. So I'm going to do for you what I did for Aquarius, and I'm going to see what kind of wound you guys are carrying over into this lifetime that has um, yet to be healed. Okay, um, and, and in the Aquarius read, uh, what I was able to see was that there's a, something very, very huge, all right, that needs to be uh, forgiven. Um, and, and the only way that's going to be um, healed in this lifetime is by uh, the more um, mature person, the more mature person involved in this connection, especially if it's something that you're trying to call back into you. Okay, so as, as far as um, the next 30 days, I do feel like there is communication coming through, but they're going to be in that same damn behavior. So I'm going to see what kind of wound you guys are carrying. What kind of wound do you guys carry in a karmic connection? What is the wound that you guys carry in a karmic connection? All right. As similar to Aquarius. Look at that. I, I mean, this is like very, very similar to Aquarius. We got the Ten of Cups. All right. So it's like this is like what we've seen in the past life. We've seen this happiness. Most of y'all could have actually started to build some sort of happiness. Had a kid. But it never led to marriage. It never led to a commitment. It never led to anything substantial because somebody fears commitment. The commitment was gone. Okay, so what I feel in this past life dynamic, that is what you guys are carrying in this one. We're not, we're, we've are we never been committed. They've always been connected to somebody else or something else. Okay, they've never actually came through. And resentments that you hold on to, all right, from that past life dynamic are carrying through this life dynamic, even if you don't realize that. 
All right, so the hermit card coming through also, as far as what you carry, is never voicing that, never expressing that. So maybe you guys are find that you're too nice. Maybe you don't. Um, I'm not saying that you have to exploit this person, but what I am going to say is that you need to start voicing how you feel. You need to voice the effects. You need to voice it. And if you don't want to do that a person to person, you need to do it in a letter. You need to express your anger, your hurt, your pains, your frustration um, about what it is that you've experienced in this life because that is exactly what you're carrying over from the past life okay so i feel like the hermit card is telling you all right that um this this was a uh, closed mouths never get closed mouths don't get fed all right you didn't get what you wanted in the past and and but you still gave this person love and and desire and you committed yourself to them in such a way that you it's like you've actually set aside your happiness for this connection that is still not feeding your soul. It's still not watering you. Okay. And that is kind of what I'm seeing here. So you guys are picking up this energy from that past life dynamic. And it's time to put that away. Okay. You can write a letter and burn it. Um, everything that you've experienced with this person, write a letter and burn it. All right. And then to your ancestors and to, to the spiritual energy of the past. All right. Even give that, that energy to the past. Okay. This is stopping now, okay, because you want to be able to move forward, whether it's with this person at this point or not, right? So let's see what happens after you take the advice. What happens after you take the advice? Oh, look at that. A tremendous amount of healing comes through with that seven of pentacles. Okay, look at this. You got the uh, five of wands coming through in reverse. So no longer being strung along, no longer uh, catering to this person's breadcrumbs. Okay, I really feel like what you're going to see or what you're going to be on the receiving end of is these uh, be beautiful new connections. Um, You know, the page of cups is all about new beginnings. All right. And you got your um, nine of pentacles coming through in reverse, which basically tells me that you're going to be able to move on in such a way. All right. That you're going to start making connections that are worth your while. All right. So how can, what can you do to heal, to make this work in your favor? Aside from this energy, you guys came through with priestess. All right. How are you being called to step up and lead? Okay. And this just might be um, very well that factor. All right. Um, taking control of your life, not letting this situation control your life, especially if this connection has held on to you for weeks, months, or years. And um, what you're being told right here is to take the reins of your life and make this life about you for, for, for once, man, for once it's your turn. All right. Um, I'm going to do some energy updates at, uh, next month, just as well for this read. I do hope to pull different energies. Um, but I feel like the sooner you guys can start implementing the healing aspects of the past life dynamic with this person, um, you're, you're going to start seeing, um, super huge, a fast forward movement, whether it's with this person or not, it depends on what you guys want. Okay. What you are manifesting, what you're trying to call in. So if you're trying to manifest this connection all the way into you, um, I feel like you guys have something in the deep past life that you got to heal first uh, because you're carrying a karmic bond that is disallowing you. All right. To move forward. Okay. So energies, uh, uh initials, excuse me, G B U O. K-Y. All right, you guys, I'm leaving it here. Take care.